Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. But before we do that, I wanna pour up, give y'all a little ASMR and put some juice in my cup. I got, I'm so hungry, dude. <laughs> I got this raspberry, you know the tea, uh, yeah, that's a tea. All right. I think one can will do it. Some people can't get these cheese curds. I guess you could just use regular cheese, but it's not gonna be the same. Ah, oh, first meal of the day. I can't wait to get into this. I also got some flaming hot smart food. I've never had this before. Shout out to Turtle Creativity, the lovely Diet. Mailed these to me, and I'm gonna be trying them. But we gonna get right into this poutine right here, boy. And then I got some shout outs. All right, so let's just try it on its own first. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I gotta give you first guy, first bite gang. Damn, this thing came out perfect. Cheese curl right there, that gravy, succulent gravy, the seasons on the crispy fries. Put some raw onion in there. Some sour cream. Just definitely need some ketchup and some hot sauce for me. Some people will say they'll just eat it just like this, but I always got to jazz it up. this out y'all mm -hmm. all right we're gonna go in with this habanero and I have some tahine <clears throat> what the hell is this Because I know my son seen this. He was like, oh my God, dad, save me some of that. And I said, I'll try. Because I told him, I, I said, I don't think I'm going to eat all of this. But the way it's going down, um, shit, I don't know. But let's try this with the ketchup and the hot sauce and the sour cream. Ooh, second bite. Second bite for y'all. Y'all want a bite? There you go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm, that pepper sauce is banging. Thank you, Vanessa. I think um, <clears throat> poutine is the easiest 
gourmet style comfort food that you can whip up that tastes hella bomb and um you can do whatever you want you could add turkey to it oh i forgot my turkey turkey beef whatever you want hot sauce i put two packs of um cheese curds up in there Cheese just oozing. Mm. Mm. That raw onion. That raw onion is on point. Y'all know I gotta try it. <clears throat> Tiny little bit of Sam Yang right here. I have two more bottles, but let's wanna try. Let's just try a little bit. First time ever eating my homemade poutine with Sam Yang sauce. <laughs> Get hair fluffy in my ear right now. Mmm. So I go for what I know, <clears throat> so the gravy packet seasoning, which was a powder. Uh, what's that brand? Um, home, town, town home or something like that. Those two packs. <clears throat> One pack is two cups of water, bring to a rolling boil. I put four cups of water, two packets in, and I cooked it out for like 10 minutes. And it got thick. And that's it. And then however you do your fries, I fried mine. And then when you plate it up, I season the fries. Laid it out, put the cheese, put the onion, and just ladled the gravy. That's it.
First time trying uh, Flamin' Hot Smart Food. Mm. Not bad. My son and his girlfriend are lucky because there's leftovers for him. And this is one pouch of um, fries, like a whole pouch. <clears throat> and a handful of this my daughter got. And you only need one pouch of that curds. I always think you got to put extra, but... It's plenty of cheese and there's like there's like big clumps. And then once it melts it spreads around, so now I know, but hey. It's super cheesy. And delicious. All right, <clears throat> like I try to do every video. I'm gonna give my first seven shout outs. So what I do is I go on my phone right before I film. I refresh it a couple times and I write down the first seven names, right? Okay, so we're gonna call these off. So this is gonna be a shout out to D7 right here. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about YouTube beef, drama, T, bullying and disrespect. All right. Also, my trip to the West Coast back home, who I would like to link up with. It's just a small list of the main people, but there's a few people that fall under the umbrella of each of these names, right? So, for the seventh shout out, the number one shout out goes to, I want to say Honey Spice, but the way she spells it is H U N N Y S Y P C E. Excuse me. I'm thinking it should be S P Y C E, like spice, honey spice. So if I jacked up your name, I apologize. I'm sorry, but we'll just say shout out to you, honey. All right, and shout out to Devin Fudge. He watched my video all the way through and tossed up the seven. <laughs> all right, uh, shout out to D Dub. What up, D Dub? Um, first time ever seeing you on my um, on my channel in the comments. Was yesterday, earlier today too as well. Um, you know we got to give shout out to the lovely and beautiful Lucia D. Lucia, <laughs> what she say? Snoopy got to try birria, birria over there in Toronto. <laughs> All right. Also, oh man, shout out to the homeboy Island Life Fishing. Yeah, man, let's go, man. <laughs> shout out to you, bro. It's Captain Ed. Salute. Um, here's another uh, newer individual to my channel and has been dropping nothing but straight love and cool comments so uh, I, I'm going to pronounce it Shay Malcolm so spelled S-H-A-E shout out to you Shay and another new um, face this is a young lady right here Big Nikki 99 so shout out to you Big Nikki 99 those are my seven off the top shout outs for this mukbang video and uh and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I got a message to the young homies. And yeah, YouTube beefs. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to tread lightly on this, right? Because 
I don't want to get activated cuz you feel me so there's a lot of clout chasing and drama and backbiting and just a lot of um like new age high school just stupid fighting you know and, and, and chopping people down and insulting them and you know cyberbullying type thing and my take on it is this like I know for a fact that when you go for somebody whether it be the whole eat with Q and be loves little funk they have um, you know the the Nikocado and Stephanie So or Stephanie Sue, however you say her last name, I forgot. But you know what I'm saying. So so the wars in between. So either way, they're getting clicks, right? You're getting views. You're getting subscribers. Your channel's gonna take off, right? Because people love drama and tea and all that stuff. It's as long as it don't involve you, I mean, just just to observe from the outside, it's entertaining. It is. I'm not gonna lie. But for me personally, it's not a good look. My personal opinion is that I don't want my channel looked as on as um oh there he go again or there she go again, you know, talking smack or causing drama or insulting people or whatever the deal is, right? It's not a good look. I guess some people don't care. Some people clap back. <clears throat> I'm the type that likes to clap back. <laughs> but then I'm very I'm reserved too at the same time. <clears throat> but um, uh, one of my sisters just popped in my head, man. Shout out to KC Connections. You know, um, that's a strong, real soldier sister right there, man. She she on the level of like Diana Ross. And when, when I look up to certain sisters in, in this um, in these YouTube streets, she reminds me of the presence and strength of like Shaka Khan. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Tosh time. You know, we got these powerful sisters. You know, some stand back and let the fools make fools of themselves like the straight busters that they are. Some just, just clap back on them. You feel me? So you have you have both right there. But I respect these sisters, man. And um, they're powerful. You know what I mean? So I uphold them and I uplift them. And I ride for my folks, you know what I'm saying? If I see injustice and I feel I need to speak on it, just like everybody else want to speak, I'll speak on mine too. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and it's to the point where, um, <clears throat> you know, if you're going after people's kids, that's a no-no. You're off with your head. Uh, if, you, if you're going after deceased loved ones and stuff, like any type of disrespect like that, you ain't winning no points, at least not in my book. And I actually look down with disgust and shame on you as an individual to the point where... I feel that if you come in sideways like that, speaking about children or disrespecting people's family members and stuff like that, like you don't even deserve to be here. You feel me? Like it's a blessing to be here. So instead of running around crying and popping off at the lip, yapping out the side of your neck, why don't you just enjoy life? Like I mean, this community is beautiful, man. We eating food and talking and gathering together, and <clears throat> you know all these different cliques forming up. We got mukbang bulls. We got mukbang rebels. We got you know, a couple of other groups here. What is it? Epic Empire. I need to check them out too. Um, then you got your couples. And then you got, you know, solo shooters like me that just, you know, saying ride in our own lane. So, but we all, as a collective, my point is like, it's a beautiful thing, this community that we have. So me, I'm all about unity. I believe that we should all, you know, in some way, not everybody going to get along, but, you know, come together as a unit, small or big youtubers or whatever you know the the whole drama thing is good to look on the outside but when it starts to come into the circle with people that who were friends in the beginning you know and then you start you know for for whatever your reason is whether you're just a straight up hater or you're doing it for clout in my book it's just hella whack uh i sit back and i just sit quiet i just watch it you know i observe it but <clears throat> when i see certain like like with tosh time i ride or die with tosh straight up 
I Ride or Die with KC Connections, MK Bites, you know, all the legends, RDR Food Reviews, you know what I'm saying, Quan Tran, and, and a lot of, and there's a lot of you out there that, you know, right now, your names are not at the top of my head right now, but you know who I am when I come through your lives, you know who I am when I watch and drop a comment on your videos, you know who I am when I link up with you on IG or whatever, right, um, so that's for my brothers and my sisters. I just don't like <clears throat> when people um, attack and come off like a bully, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I think people need to check themselves. I check myself all the time because, you know, you you you, you come off in a neighborhood like that, around the wrong cats, and you getting served straight up. You finna get straight served. And I think a lot of these individuals that didn't come up with, like, real hardcore discipline, they just yap off out the mouth, you know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> my day coming up, you get your ass beat dug out <laughs> straight up you know and a lot of these individuals need a great ass whooping but but i'm gonna leave on this note <clears throat> so i can go feed my son um i will say this i will say that yeah everybody has their freedom of speech i guess you have your your right to your own opinion uh, yeah that is true you have the right to conduct yourself however you do <clears throat> however it doesn't mean just because you have the right to do that means that what you're doing is right or means that what you're saying is right. You know what I'm saying? You have the right to express that, but it doesn't mean that your view is right or what you're saying is right. Right? Especially if you're offending and going after people who didn't do nothing to you for whatever your your logic and your reason is. <clears throat> I'm going to say it like this, like how my uncle told me. And shout out to my uncle Ron in California, man. Professor, very bright, brilliant uh, OG. He said, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, am I a tribute to myself? You know what I'm saying? Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, you know, am I a credit to myself? Check yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's you and yourself alone you got to deal with. You got to pull yourself up in order to be better so that you can help somebody else. You know, and be and be that light to shine. But for those that know and those that have it in here, you know what I'm saying? I salute you guys, man, because we the ones that keeping this earth spinning, you know? <clears throat> so we're going to ride out on that one, all right? But just stay positive, y'all. Stay focused. Uh, shout out to everybody in prayers. Going out to everybody that uh, needs it, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're sick, you know, my boy RDR, he ain't feeling too great right now. So big prayers to him. RDR, I'm with you, soldier. And, um... You know, everybody that's suffering from whether it's, you know, cold, fever, flu, broken bones, heartache, loss of a family member, hungry, seizures, whatever it is. I pray <clears throat> that whatever strength that you need to help, that will help. All right. So I pray that you guys all feel better and um, we get ready to go into the new year. So let's go into this positive the real riders ride together, all right? With that being said, I love y'all. Keep it crispy. Peace. Till the next one.